Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, find the moment of inertia around the y-axis. First, we'll split up the shape into two sections. We'll use the following formula to find the moment of inertia of the shape, which means we have to find the area and distance from the centroid to the y-axis of each section. We will call that distance dx. The area of the first section is as follows, and the distance from the centroid to the y-axis is zero, since this section is perfectly symmetrical around the y-axis. The area of the second section is as follows, and the distance from the centroid to the y-axis is zero, since this section is perfectly symmetrical around the y-axis. Now we have everything we need to compute the moment of inertia of the shape around the y-axis using the formula we introduced earlier. Let's take a look at the first section. Because the distance from the centroid of this section to the y-axis is zero, the second term of this formula disappears, and all we need to compute is the base cubed times height divided by 12. This is a standard formula. The result is as follows. We will follow the same process for the second section, which produces the following result. To find the total moment of inertia of the shape, we will add the moment of inertias of each section together. This results in around 115 million, which can be simplified to the following answer. And there you have it, quick statics answers.